What's up ladies? Oh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, oh, welcome. I'm your girl Lorna Marie and today for you we have a super exciting video. We're going to be doing a travel video and this is going to be travel must have and essentials for a cruise stateroom. This is everything that I like to bring with me and put inside of my special bag because let's face it, when you go on a cruise, literally you're trapped. There's nowhere to go. You're in this little city where there's stores that are overpriced and you can't find anything. So I like to keep everything on me. If you guys are into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, and travel videos here on my channel and I would just love to have you guys. I'm gonna list everything I can find for you down below, including my website, any product links, and all of my Amazon favorites because I have a lot of travel ones that I think you guys are gonna be into it. If you click this video, that means you obviously like to travel. If you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up and just most importantly come say hi i love getting to know you guys that is my favorite part of youtube is engaging with you guys and interacting with you it really helps me put a face to a number because really i see my numbers going up but if you don't come say hi i don't know that it's you and even just one little emoji it just it means the world to me also i have a question of the day this is a great way we can engage with each other and share and bounce info off of each other is what type of system do you use? Do you have a special bag or any products that you guys like to bring on a cruise? Share with us down below what you guys like to do. And without further ado, if you guys wanna see what's inside of this special cruise bag that I like to bring with me for my stateroom when I go on a trip, then just keep watching. So this is my cruise bag I wanted to show you guys what it looked like it is huge okay like look at my hand it's definitely substantial and it's heavy too so definitely keep that in mind when you're packing it I like to be overly prepared you guys know that so I'm just giving you examples of things you can bring it's completely up to you if you want to leave some stuff out that you may not need but I literally have everything in here, so let's get into it. When you open up the zipper part, you see this thing here, okay? Then what's awesome is you flip it open and it's got this whole section here. So now I have three separate compartments and this actually has a zipper and you can detach it, which is really nice. And this little bag is TSA approved. So. First, I'm gonna show you guys from top to bottom, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I put it in my room and hang it up. Now, right now, it is way too heavy to hang up, which is completely fine. Um, but first, before I hang it up, I'm gonna take things out and put everything away where it needs to go. Now, these are magnetic hooks that go onto the wall. And you hang up your documents and all that good stuff, so I absolutely love these. So I have some little garbage bags just in case I have like wet items or whatever. I just like having garbage bags too if we like eat something. Um, sometimes these little garbage cans don't work but I got these from the dollar store. Then I always have a pen and a highlighter so I can mark our mark the little pamphlet that you get that has all the info. So I always have a marker and I mean a highlighter and a pen. Then we have wrinkle releaser, which you can spray your stuff and then hang it in the bathroom when it's steamy, it works really good. Then I have a Lysol spray. I like to go around the room and start spraying everything to make sure it's extra sanitized, especially like door handles, telephones, all that good stuff. Then I have Febreze, like if it starts to smell funky or it smells funky when I get in here, I definitely start spraying everything. This is a new bottle. I just bought a small version, which I'm pumped about. And then I'm going to set out my Purell. And I always put things in these little Ziploc bags, um, but definitely have Purell sitting out ready to go. I also like to have dish soap on me if I need to wash my water bottle or whatever, I like to have it. And then I have some super glue because you never know if you might need some super glue. So next in this compartment here, I have my sound machine. Now on a cruise, it may not be as mandatory, but if you are on a loud floor or you're on a cruise where there's a lot of partying, like it's spring break right now. So I definitely might need this. It has a little plug for you to charge it. Where are you? Right there. And it makes a certain white noise so you can sleep 
and you don't have to hear all the craziness, which I love having these, especially with kids. Okay, and then I have um, my little travel clock, which I'm gonna set this right now. So it's got a little stand, you just pop it open like this. Now, the best thing about having a clock is you have to go off your ship's time, not wherever you're at. And sometimes they do not line up, so that's why it's good to have this, so you can make sure your phone is synced up with the ship time, which is this bad boy right here. So I'm gonna have my husband set this and we'll be ready to go. In here, I also always like to have Ziploc bags. So I keep some of those and then I have a giant garbage bag because you just never know. And then I have a huge, then I have one like really big Ziploc bag. Okay, then this is so mandatory you guys. You spray this in the toilet before you go, number two, and it makes it smell better. And when you're in close quarters and you're on a cruise ship, trust me, you need this. And we have the spray. Like this spray is so strong. Like you can't check this in. I mean, put this in your carry-on. You have to check it in because obviously these are like way too big. But when, a, when you're on a cruise, you totally can bring it with you as long as you have it checked back. Okay, so in here, I just have this little thing right here and this is my hooks. Now I have carabiner hooks. If I need to hook things to my bag, I love having these. And then I also have metal hooks, okay? These stick to the wall and I'll show you guys in a second, but I have ones that hold like 50 pounds and then I have these, and then I have smaller ones um, that hold less. Like these ones are, t are smaller. Then I have, I just found my, this was a hook from an old hanger that broke and I just wrapped duct tape around it because I feel like when you go on a trip you definitely need to bring duct tape just in case your suitcase breaks or whatever like I just like to have a little bit of duct tape on me okay then we have batteries I have triple A's double A's I'm good to go just in case something dies then I always like to bring quarters with me this bag is super, super similar to my hotel bag that's always packed, always ready to go. This one's just a little bit different because it's for a cruise ship. Now, I may use this system and this bag for my hotel bag from now on just because I like that it can hang up, but I bought this specifically for the cruise. And these are very similar things that was in my other bag. I just have safety pins, thumbtacks. Like these aren't gonna be as useful on a cruise ship. Um, these are more for like a hotel, but I just keep all the same stuff in here. And then earplugs, always travel with earplugs. Taking these and I'm putting them in the bathroom. They are ready to go. We need these accessible. Labels out, always labels out, just kidding. <laughs> well, we're right next to the bathroom and they're right here, ready to go. Okay, you guys, so the room already has a hook and I suggest using it for this because it's super heavy and using the hooks for other things, but everything is accessible. So if I need something, I can just grab it and it's hanging up, ready to go off the counters. Love it. But I wanted to just show you guys, this is kind of our little command center we have going on here. So I showed you guys this thing, but I hung these little pink things up here and they are not strong magnets, so only paper for these, but I love having this here. This is how we um, leave the ship tomorrow, all of our instructions. My husband has his jewelry he likes to take off when he walks in. And I doubled these hooks to make them stronger so I could hang my bag up, which is really awesome. And then I have our little itinerary paperwork and then I hung up my husband's hat up here. One of the most important things that you can bring on a cruise is one of these bad boys. Now they are very specific about what kind they want. They do not want it to be a surge protector. I'm pretty sure that's what this button is for. This one is for sure approved. I brought it on with me, everything was all good. So I will link this exact one down below because you definitely don't want it to be taken away from you um, on your trip. So I've shown you guys these in my videos before, but I just wanna be totally accurate for the video and show you what I also have in my stateroom. I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly. And if you wanna see things in more detail, I will let you know which videos those will be in, linked down below in the description box. So I always bring this little shopping bag thing. 
This is in my Amazon travel favorites video if you want me to fully open it for you guys, but it just has a couple straps here. I have a portable umbrella that I always bring with me. I love how small and sleek and light it is. Great for traveling. Then we have this bag. This is inside of my excursion bag. It has all of my necessities. I go into detail in this in my excursion bag video. Like I said, I will link it down below for you as well as my snorkel. This stays inside of my room for me, especially obviously when we go somewhere tropical. This is my bathroom bag. It's like an adult diaper bag. I pretty much put everything I need to go to the restroom in a third world country or somewhere crazy or not even that. I mean, literally it's just everything you need for the bathroom. And then I also bring my portable. This is an expandable water bottle, which I love to have as well. So I sh like I said, I've shown you guys some of these before, but I think these are definitely important to have in your stateroom. Okay, now somebody asked me, I showed you guys these on my Amazon travel favorites, what I put inside of these. And I just wanted to show you an example. I put shoes, I even had snacks on the way there. I put everything in here, you guys. They're just sleek and small. And I like putting everything in my bag, standing up like file folders. So I just love this type of system. And then I also bring a little lunch pail, which I've shown you guys this before. And I've also shown this before, which is my wet bag. I think it's important to bring a wet bag with you. So when you go on excursions and stuff for your cruise, you have a place you can put all of your wet stuff. Okay, so this bag here is my first aid kit. Now this is not my complete first aid kit. I kind of just put this together, a smaller version um, that has like less bandage type of deals for when my kids come. I don't have as many band-aids and stuff like that, but it's definitely the main necessities that you need for a cruise ship. So I thought this would be nice. It's clear, easy to open. And I can just go through these really quick with you guys. We just have Tums. We have this here is an acid reducer. I don't want to pronounce that. We have Imodium. Um, this is for stomach relief. If you eat something somewhere and your stomach isn't used to it, this will definitely help you. Benadryl, if you get sort of some sort of rash or you got some skin stuff going on or allergy, anything. Then we have some alcohol prep pads. I have some Band-Aids some Alka-Seltzer, we have some vitamin C, got lots of those in here. Then I always pack some NyQuil and DayQuil. These, oh my gosh, these are so important, you guys. I wore these the whole time. I never, ever, ever get seasick, but these are called C-bands, and these help so, so much. Then we have Orgel, just in case you never know when your tooth gets out of control, some Advil, we have some ibuprofen, and then we have, oh, I like to bring this electrolytes, and that's it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my travel essentials and must-haves for your cruise stateroom. I had so much fun doing this video. You guys know adding value is so important to me. So if you can use anything I showed you here today, give your girl a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. Like I said, I'm gonna list everything for you guys down below. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a cruise ship emoji. You guys have no idea how much it means to me, even if you just leave me that little cruise ship. I just, I love it. I know that you're here, you're engaging with me, and it means the world to me. Also, don't forget to answer that question of the day. Do you guys have a special product? Do you have a system or a special bag that you like to use when you go on a cruise? Share with our friends down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time, I'm always your girl, Lana Marie.